All right, our first story is from Suzanne Hitt. I met my husband in January of 2018. One of the first questions he asked me when we started dating was whether I believed in God, to which I responded yes, although I wasn't totally bought in at this point. He proceeded to invite me to church every week, but every week I had something else to do or nothing to wear. I'm not so sure what I was scared of, but I ultimately started coming with him because I knew it was important to him. All the way until we got married and beyond, I felt like a fraud. My dad had been diagnosed with terminal and incurable form of cancer. I was navigating a huge life change with little or no patience or grace for people around me. And I had convinced myself that I wasn't worthy of calling myself a Christian. My dad died in September of 2022. In a few short weeks, it'll be marked two years without him. I saw the cancer eat him alive. And while I know death is hard, there is something uniquely awful about a daughter seeing her big, strong dad wither away at what should be some of the best years of his life and mine. A few months after he passed, I started a Bible study and soon accepted all the answers aren't for me to know. Lifelong anxiety plummeted and my peace grew. I found the things that helped mend my heart, like serving others, especially on days that I felt sorry for myself. I am different, not in a huge way, but in ways that are significant to me and ways that my dad would be proud of. Today, I am standing here as someone who has been transformed by God's grace, who has found peace during tragedy and who is ready to fully commit my life to him. I asked my husband to baptize me today because through God, his persistence has brought me to this moment and I am so thankful. Our next baptism is Mike Gallagher. Mike's story. My mom and dad first told me about Jesus. We grew up as Catholics, so we followed all the steps we had to do, getting baptized as an infant, saying grace before meals, going to religious classes, having your first communion, getting confirmed, and getting married. These were all the checks that I had imaginary list that I thought that would get me into heaven, but I didn't really know, understand, or how to follow Jesus. My best friend Corey had explained to me many years ago that he had found Jesus while serving on deployment in Iraq, that we cannot work to get ourselves into heaven, but it is a gift. I did not pay much attention to him and I continued to live my life. Meanwhile, over the years, cousins who were some of my best friends passed away. These were devastating losses, but there was something different that changed in 2016 when my friend and cousin Nick also passed away unexpectedly. Our hearts were broken over his death. Corey was overwhelmingly upset because he had tried to get my uh, cousin to accept Jesus into his life, but he didn't. Seeing Corey struggle and come to terms with my cousin's death, he explained to me once again, we cannot work our way to heaven. Jesus, the work in Corey's life, transformation, an unwavering message to make disciples out of the rest of us is what led me to accept Jesus as my personal savior and go public with my baptism. Next, we have Janet Gallagher. Janet's story, my parents first told me about Jesus when I was a little kid. Accepting Jesus into my life as my personal savior did not come easy because I was led astray by many different influential voices in my life. However, I turned to him following a quiet miscarriage of our twins. It was such a difficult time that I could not get myself to speak out loud of my collapsing hope as those two tiny heartbeats disappeared from an ultrasound one by one. We suffered many losses within our family and then received the precious gift that we were gonna have three children. 
They were so graciously entrusted to us to raise, yet I felt so undeserving for them. My stubborn and selfish heart fell into a state of depression because I felt uh, to my core that I could not do life without the Lord. I was completely lost in a world in which there was not enough of me to control the outcomes of the future. I woke to the feelings from my lifelong lost childhood history that felt like chains. I did the unthinkable. I let go of the reins of my life that I had so tightly clenched within the palms of my hands to surrender to Jesus. With his goodness, his grace, and his mercy, he has made me new. Next, we have Raylan Gallagher. Raylan's story, the, the first people to tell me about Jesus was my mom and dad. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal savior, I was struggling with my faith. I heard John 3, 16 and realized how much Jesus loves us and that he died for our sins. That changed me forever. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he will love us forever, no matter what. My favorite Bible verse is Matthew 18, 10, the parable of the wandering sheep. It warms my heart to know that God will help you when you're lost and discouraged no matter what. I want to get baptized to show the whole world that I am a follower of Jesus. Next we have Sydney Gallagher. The first person to tell me about Jesus was my mom. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal savior was last Easter. We went to church and I felt him. So that night when I went to bed, I asked Jesus to be my personal savior. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he loves you. Even when you have made mistakes, he never gives up on you. My favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 24 through 26. It tells you that you shouldn't be afraid. The Lord will be your confidence firm and strong. I want to be baptized because I feel the call from God to do so. Next we have Carol Hughes. I was baptized as an infant in the Catholic Church. My family raised me Catholic throughout my school years. By my senior year of college, I met a wonderful Christian man. He eventually encouraged me to get baptized in his Baptist church. He also knew my struggles, that I had a decision to make as an adult. As years passed, I slipped further away from Jesus in the church. Once again, I was suffering with a lot of mental health problems. I did not put my trust in Jesus. I was scary, depressed, and experienced a lot of hopelessness. Only recently, I've asked Jesus back into my life. My son has been such a positive influence in my life. He was baptized here at the Mount. He has shown me how much Jesus has changed his life. Jesus takes us out of our darkness. <laughs> I have not been attending the Mount. I have now been attending the Mount for a year and a half. I have become close to Jesus and pray daily. I have seen such an amazing change in my life and how Jesus guides me through many difficult experiences that I have. I know he is protecting me and will continue to do so for the rest of my life. I am devoted to Jesus. Next, we have Isabel Erhard. My parents were the first people to tell me about Jesus. I came to know Jesus my personal savior when I was at Windshape. My counselor shared the gospel with me and told me about Jesus. 
He asked me if I wanted to ask Jesus to be my savior, and I did. So we prayed together, and I asked Jesus to be my savior. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he is there for me when I need him, and I can pray to him about anything, and he will lead me through it. I want to be baptized so everyone will know that I accepted Jesus as my savior. Wrapping it up, we have Lizzie Crawford. My mom was the first person to tell me about Jesus. On Friday at Windshape, I was with my mom and I prayed with her to ask Jesus to be my savior. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he died on the cross for our sins. I want to be baptized because I want everyone to know that I love Jesus. Good morning, everyone. This is Addison, and this is Addison's story. The first people to tell me about Jesus were my mom and dad. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal savior was when I was very young. I came to know him through the Mount Kids, and I can remember being so excited to be there and learn about him. My favorite thing about Jesus is the constant reassurance that he is there no matter what. My favorite Bible verse is John 3.16, the very first verse I ever memorized. I've wanted to be baptized for a long time. I remember first wanting two years ago, and now that I'm turning 15, I'm so excited to show the world that I have accepted Jesus into my heart. Addison, with that profession of faith, pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Making her way into the water now, this is Emily. And let me tell you Emily's story. The first people to tell me about Jesus were my mom and dad. Through church camp, I came to know Jesus as my personal savior when I was very young. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he is always there for me at any point in life, and he died for all of us to show us the Father. My favorite Bible verse is Psalm 23, 4, because it tells us not to fear and to trust in the Lord. I want to get baptized to show the world that I have accepted Jesus as my Savior, and so they can watch and know how much joy and peace he brings us. Emily, with that, pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our first person to get baptized today is Jacob Foster. Jacob's story is, I first heard about Jesus in church when I was a kid. I came to know Jesus for the first time while I was in middle school. After accepting Christ, I continued to learn and grow in my faith while reading about the importance of baptism and what it symbolized. I decided to get baptized alongside of my fiance and publicly share my faith with my family, my friends, and my community. And next, we have Maddie Roca. I grew up only going to church on Easter and Christmas with my mom and my sister, but never understood who Jesus was. In 2022 was the first time I started to really understand it more. Now, my fiance, Jacob, was there for all of my questions. And now we are going to the Mount every Sunday and serving any chance we get. I recently had a moment to surrender with my best friend, Mia. She has helped me grow closer to God. I am very blessed with a godly friendship and relationships that have been given to me. I have given my life to Christ, and I know that Jesus is the way and the truth, so I want to show it in a public way. And next, we have Henry Bakewell. My mom and dad were the first people to tell me about Jesus. 
One day, I was talking about Jesus to my dad, and I decided to pray with him and ask Jesus to be my Savior. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he died on the cross for my sins. I want to be baptized so people know that I have accepted Jesus into my heart. Next, we have John Paul Hernandez Arrieta. My parents were the first ones to tell me about Jesus. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal savior is when I moved to Virginia from Puerto Rico. I was five. I knew that God it would be a hard move for me, leaving my people, my friends, and the place I call home. He showed me the way forward, revealing things to come, and I watched them come to pass just as he showed me. I knew he spoke the truth to me. God has watched over me ever since. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he has forgiven us all for our sins. No matter how guilty we are, he forgives. My favorite Bible story is about the house built on the rocks versus the sand. Christ is my firm foundation and it resonates with me. I want to get baptized because for years I believed, but I have never gone public with my faith, even though I know he is real. I, I felt like I was not good enough to even be baptized, but now I am. But it is growing to know him that I have realized this whole point. He is good enough, and through him, so am I. He is for me, he is for you, and that's powerful. Next, we have Kayla Bonami. My mom and dad were the first ones to tell me about Jesus. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal savior was the last day of summer vibes. I was worshiping and felt his presence so strongly. The next day, my mom and I sat down and talked about what I had experienced, and I knew I wanted to be baptized in his name. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he, uh, he is always there for me, and he'll never leave my side, even when you're having a rough time. He is always with you. My favorite Bible story is Daniel in the lion's den. It's my favorite because Daniel prayed to God for help when he was thrown in, revealing how God is always with you. I want to be baptized to show people my love for God and how much I care for him. Next, we have Ellie Dacon. My mom and dad and my siblings were the first people to tell me about Jesus. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal savior was when I was with my brother. We were talking about how Jesus died on the cross to save me from my sins, and I prayed that Jesus would be my savior. I want to be baptized because I want everyone to know that I follow Jesus. Next, we have Aubrey Greiner. My parents were the first ones to tell me about Jesus. I came to know Jesus as my personal savior when I was struggling with depression and Jesus saved me. Jesus brought life into my life. And then when I was having a dark side, thoughts of suicide, he gave my life to him. Those thoughts went away. Jesus was so kind. He sent me to Mrs. Lauren, give me help through those hard times. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he died on the cross for our sins. My favorite book in the Bible is Genesis because in so many amazing stories. My favorite Bible verse is Philippians 4, 6 because it helped me deal with my anxieties. I want to be baptized to show that Jesus is my personal savior and that he has washed away all my sins and that my life is committed to him. Finally, we have Abby Nelson. Abby's story. My story is a little complicated. I'll explain the best I can. My mother first told me about Jesus when I was a child, but I left the church around 14. I recently came back at 18 and started listening to old Christian music and new friends that helped me find my way again. I got saved when I was a child. 
I didn't understand or have the confidence in my decision because I knew I didn't fully understand. I know now that when I got saved at 18 that Jesus has, has saved me and my decision to go public with my faith has healed me from my depression, anger that I felt, and God has saved me. Everyone, this is Sarah. The first person I ever told about Jesus and God's mercy was my father, James. He's the one sitting in the back door and is probably crying and pretending he is not. My father has always been very strong in his faith. He has blessed our family with his knowledge and his discipleship through the hardest seasons of our lives. At times, I've just chosen to focus on myself and take the easy way out. I would listen in church and take notes, but my relationship with Jesus was usually surface level as I was terrified to lose control. Hmm, boy, doesn't that make sense. I was hard for, it was hard for me to accept that I have a purpose here on earth. Truthfully, the moment that led me to truly believe was the time that I almost died. I decided to follow him because I saw what happens when I live a life without him. I needed him. Deciding to follow him has pushed me to be baptized, serve, and co-lead a small group. This is great. It has reframed not only my mindset, but my desire to spread the good news of Jesus. I pray that by professing my desire to follow Jesus in this forum, that I inspire others who, will, who are like me and to do the same. He has always been with me, but now I am with him. Oh, Sarah, I love this. With that, pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Dawson, come on, buddy. All this is Dawson, uh, Dawson Dean making his way into the water. I grew up going to the mount. During my high school years, I renounced my religion, falling into sin that just fed the flesh. Within the last year, I found that Jesus is the only one who will not only heal me from my pain and sins, but also we be there with me through it all. Dawson, I get to see you on a weekly basis, just stumbling into you in the marketplace. Daggone it, son. With that, your profession of faith, pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right, Delaney, you ready? All right. All this is Delaney. She's breaking her way into the water. She's saying, I've been wanting to do this for weeks, but I finally committed to it today. I would. Uh, she's being baptized because she wants to love to go the way of Jesus and be saved. Delaney, with your profession of faith, it's mom that's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our first baptism is Jonathan Saunders. His story is, yeah. I remember my parents first telling me about Jesus when I was a child. I knew Jesus was my personal savior during my teenage years. When I decided to follow Christ, my relationship with him grew stronger. Life events such as finding an amazing wife, Mindy, being blessed with two children, Emily and Kaylee, and building a church family have further deepened my faith. Today, I want to show, share, and display my love for Jesus my Lord, my Savior. And next we have Kaylee Saunders. Kayla's story, the first people to tell me about Jesus was my parents. The day I came to know Jesus as my personal Savior was March 9th. I was asking my mother thousands of questions about baptism because we were watching Pastor Adam's baptism service. After all these questions, I accepted Christ into my heart that night. 
My favorite thing about Jesus is that I don't have to worry about the future because it's in Jesus' hands, and those are the best hands to be in. My favorite Bible verse is 1 Peter 2, 9, because it shows how amazing and fantastic God is. I want to be baptized to proclaim out loud that I want to be alive, live a life devoted to Christ. And next we have Mindy Saunders. I have known Jesus as my personal savior for as long as I can remember. I, I cannot remember the day when Jesus wasn't by my side. I was baptized as a baby. I grew up in church. I have known from a young age that Jesus died for me and that I needed a savior. My faith has always been childlike, but there have been times in my life where I've stepped away from God and his word. However, I remember owning my faith when I was at a youth camp when, in junior high. I married Jonathan and had Emily and Kaylee. Jesus has been growing and pruning me over the years. He has shown me forgiveness and grace and has given me a true gift in the Holy Spirit. In the past six years, numerous circumstances have happened that I've had to truly put my trust in God and surrender that he would work all things out for the good. These past years, my walk with Jesus has forever been changed. My relationship with God strengthened. My prayer life is continual. My knowledge of his word has deepened and written into my heart. So today, I am going public with my faith. Next, we have Emma Benavarez. My mom and dad were the first people to tell me about Jesus. One day, I was with my parents in my room, and we prayed together, and I decided to follow God. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he died for our sins, and he keeps us safe and always forgives us no matter what. I want to be baptized to show everyone that I believe in Jesus. Next, we have Zarethan Reed. My mom was the first person to tell me about Jesus. One day, I was in the dining room with my mom, and we were praying. It was then that I asked Jesus to be my Savior. My favorite part of the Bible is how God sent Jesus to the world to rescue you and me, and then I get to join God's work. I want to be baptized so that everyone can know that I believe in God. Next, we have Shelly Harris. My mom was the first one to tell me about Jesus and would take me to church. About a year and a half ago, I felt the calling to go to church. I hadn't been there in a while and did not feel connected. But my mother has always been persistent in asking me if I wanted to go to church with her. And I said yes. And I attended a service at the Mount during the service. I can't really explain it, but I felt a wash of emotions. I felt like I wanted to give myself to God and his message. I want to know his teachings and grow with him. Woo! And next we have Xavier Montanez. The first person to tell me about Jesus was my grandmother. The day I came to Jesus uh, as my personal savior is when I was 13. Through attending church and youth group, I knew I wanted to follow him and learn about him. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he protects and watches over us. I want to get baptized today to show the world that I am committed to my faith and to God. Next, we have Aria Palacios. The first person to tell me about Jesus was my grandmother. 
I came to know Jesus as my personal savior when I was at church and I felt him. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he helps and loves us always. My favorite Bible story is Adam and Eve because they were the first people God created. I want to be baptized because I want to show everyone that I love and have Jesus in my heart and he is my savior. Jacob Gunther and he's getting into the water and this is Jacob's story. The first people to tell me about Jesus were my parents. I came to know Jesus as my personal savior when I was five or six years old. I remember I called out to my parents and telling them I wanted Jesus in my life. My favorite thing about him is that you can always rely on him. In my brightest and darkest moments, he is always there for me to lean on. My favorite Bible story is David and Goliath. When I am my lowest, I know with God there is always a possibility to succeed even when it seems impossible. I want to be baptized to show my faith and belief in Jesus Christ and how he changed my life. Jacob, with that, your mom and dad are going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where's Matthew? Matthew, make your way in. All this is Matthew Good, and this is Matthew's story. The first person to tell me about Jesus was my grandma. I came to know Jesus as my personal savior after my custody about uh, curiosity about him led me to read the Bible. The more I read, the more my life turned towards him. I read the New Testament and started discussing it with my family and friends. I asked my mom if we could find a church to attend. After a while, I noticed that my decisions started to change. The way I lived started to change. When I would sin, it would convict me. Before I only felt bad about making wrong choices and getting caught or disappointing someone, now I feel the weight of my sin and try to make a decision as Christ commands. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he is kind and caring. He died to save all of us from sin so that we could be with him in heaven. My favorite Bible verse is Luke 6, 35 through 36, which commands us to love our enemies and to be good to them. My favorite, it's my favorite because it reminds me to be careful about judging others and to be loving and understanding. I want to be baptized because my love for Jesus. Hey, Matthew, with that profession of faith, pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gracias, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús. 
Así que, que venga, que con tu confesión en Jesucristo, te, te bautizamos ahora, paso en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Say hey Fabian. Awesome. Got a chance to connect with him and in a moment he's going to be baptizing his son. And we are encouraged by his story and his life and what God's doing in and through him. Uh, so, Fabian, because of your profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And then we have Ian over here. Everyone say, hey, Ian. This is Ian, Fabian's son. And we are going, I heard his story too and his profession of faith. And I'm so excited for this family right here. Go ahead and plug your nose, Ethan, or Ian, and then uh, your dad will baptize you in just a moment. So Ian, because of your profession of faith, we baptize you, our brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is Adele, and this is her dad, Will, who's going to baptize her. Uh, Adele, because of your profession of faith, we baptize you, our sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All right, everybody, today we are super excited because we are celebrating the Bealton Campus First Baptism. And so we have Stephen and Krista Presser, who's going to be getting baptized today, going public with their faith. So we're gonna have a story for you. This is Stephen and Krista's baptism story. Today, we celebrate not only our third month of marriage, but also our decision to be baptized together. We are closer to God now more than ever before because we want to make the effort every day to keep Him at the center of our marriage. This is Stephen's story. I was originally raised in the Presbyterian Church where I was baptized as an infant. I chose to be born again and started my faith journey in 1996. After visiting the Mount with Krista, I realized I wanted to take the next step in surrendering my life to Christ. Well, Stephen, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we baptize you. This is Krista's story. I was originally raised and baptized in the Catholic Church. However, God led me to worship at the Mount, where I've attended for over 25 years. I've been pursuing baptism in my mind for a long time, but felt unworthy. I want to go public with baptism to affirm my faith, wash me clean, and begin a new relationship with Christ as my Savior. Krista, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 